everybody, Vaping Gal Philly here, and I have another review for you from 777. Uh, they sent me the Bullet Kit. Um, this is called the Bullet Essentials Kit, uh, and inside it has a 320 milliamp battery. It came with one refillable 1.3 mil tank. They also sent me two other tanks um, so that I could review the juices that they sent with it. Uh, which I will get to those in just a second. Um, the kit comes with a wall charger. Uh, it comes with the owner's manual and it comes with the one 320 mAh battery and the tank. Um, it comes in this nice little box. Love these little boxes. They've got little magnetic uh, sides to them. So um, yeah, let's get to vaping on this little thing and find out what we've got going on. Um, I do have the juicy peach uh, juice in 15 milligram or 15 milliliter bottle. It is in six milligram. Uh, I love that they have all the warnings on the side. Uh, on the other side, they do have an expiration date. This one actually expires this month. Um, it gives you the ingredient list on there and uh, tells you it is the e-liquid. They do have an e-shisha line as well um, and uh, yeah so it tells the California proposition down at the bottom there uh, for those California residents. So I'm going to take a vape on this one. Now this tank is not the standard tank it comes with. I put this on here because I happen to think it's really cute. Um, they sent me two of these tanks that when you push the button it LED lights up at the bottom and novelties do amuse me so let me take a vape of this juicy peach and we'll talk about it pretty good vapor production um, it's not as juicy peach as I would like it to be it's a good peach but it's more of a candied style peach to me Yeah, it's more of a candied peach. Um, still, it's not a bad juice. Um, I, I would say it's a good juice for somebody who's just starting to vape um, versus somebody who has been vaping for a long time. Um, your flavor profiles change, your taste buds change, and uh, it's kind of a little different. It's more of a candied peach. So, uh, Although it is good, it is not as juicy peach as I was hoping for. Um, the next one is their apple and again it's got all the labeling on here this one I actually received this uh, before the expiration date it's still good um, you can use them for a couple of months afterwards as far as I'm concerned um, I did want to mention this as well um, the drippers that come in these things are curved so that when you are going to load your liquid in it will load over onto the side pretty much automatically. It smells really good. So I've put this one on uh, the regular tank that it comes with. It does not light up, um, but it's still a functional tank. Um, to me, it just says apple. Um, to me this says more of a apple cider. Um, I don't taste cinnamon in it but it doesn't taste like regular apple flavoring um, or like a tart apple. It is more of like a almost like apple juice that is starting to turn into a cider. It's got a little bit of a kick in there. Um, these are all at 50-50 and uh, the throat hit is very nice on these. Um, but that apple is just, it's just what it says, it's apple, but it doesn't give you a in-depth uh, description of that. I would put more of an apple cider on that one. And last but not least, we have the caramel. Now the caramel, um, I did uh, do a little bit of a steep on it, um, a fast steep on it. Um, I felt like it needed it a little bit. Um, and I have tested these all before the video. Uh, so this is the caramel. The bottling looks the same on all of their products. Um, and the name is listed down there of the flavor. So let me take a vape. I'm 
Okay, yeah, no, this one um, is not my favorite. I love caramel vapes. I love sweet, desserty style vapes. And this one, it has a very <sighs> manufactory, if that's even a word, um, type of taste to it. It's not not my favorite at all. Um, it tastes like stale caramel candies to me, and it just is not one that I would um, would recommend uh, as far as caramel vapes go. Sorry, I I have to be honest. I can't I can't hide that. Um, the coils on these are, I believe, uh, they had said it was between 1.8 and 2.0 ohms on them. They do tend to vary a little bit. Um, the LED uh, ones seem to be a little bit warmer, which to me would indicate they are on the 1.8 ohm. And uh, again, there is the little LED light on there. So if that's something that you like, you can order those tanks on there. Um, the price of the bullet kit, which includes the standard tank, um, not the one that lights up uh, like that, uh, that comes with the charger and the manual in the box, um, is $29.95. Um, you have a choice of black, stainless steel, blue, or pearl pink for the battery. Um, and it includes the wall charger with that. As far as the tanks, uh, let me see if I can get to them. Tanks and coils. The uh, LED, I'm trying to find them on here. Uh, the LED, bullet LED tanks, like the ones that I got, are $6.95 a piece, um, and you have a choice of red or blue. Um, the picture to me is a little deceiving because unless you have blue juice in there and a blue light, it's not going to look that blue. Um, let me put one back on here and uh, show you. I'm not sure which one, if this is the red. I think this is the blue one. Um, It does not light up the the juice in the tank, so it is enhanced on the photo a little bit. But in the evening time, when you're vaping on it, it does shine a blue um, or a red. I'll put the red back on here for you as well. I like these kind of tanks; they're novelties. It draws a little bit of attention, so people um, see the light. If you're in a dark place, um, there is the red. Uh, so it's not overbearing um, as far as that goes, but it does give a little bit of oomph to it when you are out and about. Um, and uh, people say, hey, what's that and why is it lighting up? And then you can say, this is my e-cig and uh, I quit smoking and I'm using these. And then they're like, oh, cool, maybe I should try that. So it's kind of a, a cool little thing here. Um, these are a... Uh, I believe it's called the 808 uh, connection on them, so you cannot use a standard tank on them. You have to use the proprietary tanks that come with them. Um, I do believe in some of the other systems that they do carry um, that you can get something that is a little bit more accommodating in that aspect. Um, I'm just taking a look. It looks like the Magnum series. Um, is one of those that is an ego with an EVOD style. So you do have a bit of progression um, with 777 ESIC products, which is the thing I like. Um, I still have the 808 battery one from them with the T4 tanks on them. And uh, now I have the bullet style. Um, and I, you know, they last a long time. I think I got. I think I got a text message. Uh, I got, I think, about five and a half hours on this. Um, I'm at the point um, with vaping that I'm not constantly chain vaping it. So five, five to five and a half hours of um, occasional using. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I was chain vaping on this thing, it would probably last about three or four hours, and then it would need to be recharged. Um, if you are a new to vaping person, I would suggest um, getting an the other kit that they had for the bullet starter kit um, that actually has two batteries in it. They have several different styles um, 
of packages where you can uh, for $29.95 you get the one battery and tank uh, for $49.95 you get two batteries and two tanks with the charger um, they have a deluxe kit that has e-juice four tanks and two batteries and then they have the ultimate starter kit which has three batteries four tanks a car charger a wall charger and you get a carrying case and you get some e-juice with it and that is $99.95 um, and you can click down below I have a link to my favorite e-cig um, analog product and you can uh, look at that you know get to the website through there and um, and check out their products and if you are interested or need any um, advice about the bullet um, you can message me on Facebook I've got a link down below um, or if you're interested in talking to me about the analog like um, both of these are push buttons so you do have to push them. There are some out there that you just auto draw, but these are a push style. Um, I do have to say though that this battery, I think it lasted me longer than the uh, uh, analog alike um, battery, but I'm going to be testing these out as I progress um, to find out which gives you the longest amount of vapor production, or longest amount of vaping experience. Um, which tanks give the best vapor production, and um, do a little bit of analysis on those. So, um, yeah, again, this one is the 777 Bullet series from them, and uh, the, ch the flavor choices that I had were apple, um, juicy peach, and caramel. Um, and all of my juices were in six milligram. If you are newly starting to vaping, um, you would of course want to have a higher milligram uh, e-juice to start with. Um, I equivalated it to uh, if you smoked a pack a day of Marlboros, you would want an 18 or a 24 milligram. Um, if you smoked Marlboro Lights uh, or an equivalent of a light, you would want the um, 18 or 12 milligram depending on how many cigarettes a day you smoked and if you smoked the ultralights you would want to start with 12 or 6 milligrams of nicotine and um, they go all the way down to zero so throughout your vaping experience um, you can continue to go down in nicotine levels and eventually end up at zero nicotine and be done. Um, I am at six currently going down to three if I can find some more vendors that carry three milligram I'm going to try to convert down to three on the whole um, except for a few of my favorite um, e-juice companies that I know that do not I will still continue to vape six or buy six and zero and mix them together to get that three so uh, I will keep you guys tuned in with 777 e6 on what is going on and what uh, products are going to be coming up and until next time guys vape on vape strong and uh, speak your mind with the FDA if you don't speak your mind with the FDA they're going to speak it for you have a great day guys